If you want to lock apps on Samsung Galaxy A36 5G, we can use the secure folder that allows us to create a password for the secure folder and we can add apps that we wish to have in the secure folder so that we have private access. To do so, we can go to settings. Now over here, let's scroll down to security and privacy. Then over here, go to more security settings. And then we have secure folder over here. Let's press continue twice. And let's wait for the secure folder to, to be created. It should take approximately one minute for the secure folder to be created. Once it is created, we have to set up the password and we can also use biometrics. So let's press done. Now over here, I'm going to choose a simple pin code. So let's enter the password, press continue. If it's easy to guess the password, if it's easy to guess, uh, then you will be suggested to use something more complicated, but you can use it anyway. And then let's enter the same password again to confirm and press OK. We can also use our Samsung account in order to recover the access to the secure folder in case we forget the password. So you can press allow if you want to do that. If not, then we don't have to allow and then press OK. Now, if you have any biometrics set up, such as the fingerprint or the face recognition, then you can use it in order to uh, unlock the secure folder. And I'm going to press next now. And here we have the secure folder with some apps already added. And these, these apps are already private. They have different data from the apps that we have outside of the secure folder. So let's say I want to lock Netflix. I have Netflix over here in the app screen and I can just open it without any issues. So if I want to lock it, I can go to the secure folder in the app screen. I can press this plus button here and then we can add Netflix from this list. Of course, you can add multiple apps they all will have uh, the same password and let's press add then the app is added to the list and the access to the app is of course uh, granted if you unlock it so as long as the secure folder is unlocked the app is usable you can just use it but of course if we lock the secure folder so we can tap on these three dots and lock and exit for example and then if i try to open it of course i need to enter the password. This is for the first time. Later on, you should be able to use biometrics. And then I can open Netflix. I can also add the app to the home screen. You can press and hold your finger on the app and press add to home. Let's press add. And then first, let's lock the secure folder. And then if I try to open this Netflix, which is from the secure folder, I will have to enter the password or use my fingerprint or face data to unlock it. Now, obviously, as you can see, we have two Netflix apps now. The same goes with the app drawer. This is still the, the same app that is not protected. So this is a little bit of a drawback when we are using the secure folder because we don't really set the password for the main app. We just create a separate environment in which we add the app and then the app that is inside the secure folder is protected with that password. Um, but there is something that we can do in order to at least hide the app. So if we go to settings, let's actually go back to the main page of settings. Then here we can go to home screen. And then if you scroll down, you should be able to find hide apps on home and apps screens. And then here we can choose Netflix. In my case, I'm going to choose Netflix, obviously, uh, because I want to hide it. Press done. And now, as you can see, the Netflix app that was here is gone. I still have the Netflix app from the secure folder and it is also gone from the app screen. So I can still access my Netflix uh, by using the secure folder, um, but I cannot use the Netflix app that is outside of the secure folder. Well, it is still accessible actually. We can still find it and open it by, for example, using the Play Store. So you can find the Netflix app, in my case, Netflix app in the Play Store in order to open it without the password. And there is really nothing that we can do if we are using the secure folder. Um, but it is still a somewhat a way to create the password to lock apps, right? And besides that, there is also one more tip for the secure folder. So if we go over here, we can tap on these three dots and go to settings and we can change auto lock to each time I leave an app. So now every time I open and exit the app. If I try to reopen it, I once again have to unlock it. So that's pretty much it. This is how we can lock apps and set up the password. Of course, you can turn off the, the fingerprint, for example, 
if you don't want to use it. All of this is available in the secure folder settings. So for example, here we can go to lock type. Of course, we need to enter the password. And then we can disable the fingerprint so that it cannot be used and you always have to use the password that you have set up to be able to access it. We can also customize the icon, the app icon. We can set up a different name in order to hide the secure folder a little bit. And that is essentially it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!